What is going on Fit Fam? Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to meal prep like a boss. So I think a lot of women get really overwhelmed when they think about meal prepping, thinking that it has to take a ton of time and that it has to be super complicated, but I promise you, it really doesn't. You really only need about two to three hours out of your entire week to get all of your meals taken care of. So not only is this gonna set you up for guaranteed success with shedding fat and building lean muscle in all the right places, but you're also gonna be stacking some fat cash in your bank account because doing your own meal prep is going to be so much more cost effective than ordering in all the time or going out to eat. So I'm just gonna walk you through one of the examples of the meal prep that I was doing, which is going to be my dinner for the next few days. And it's gonna be a really simple chicken pesto pasta dish. So in order to even understand how you go and start putting your meal prep together, you gotta to think of the four main components of what a meal should be. So those are your lean protein, your starchy carbohydrate, your fruit and or veggie, and your healthy fats. All right, so let me show you what that looks like in this example of the dinner that I'm making for these next few days. So here, it maybe looks kind of gross, but you can see it is a bunch of prepped chicken breasts. So I took a bunch of raw chicken breast, chopped it up into small pieces, and I threw it in this Tupperware container. So that is the lean protein of this meal. And I added in this. This is a sun-dried tomato pesto. It is so good. And I added that in to make the marinade. So this is the lean protein, the chicken breast, and then the marinade for the chicken breast is the pesto, which in this case is the healthy fat of the meal. And that's usually how I like to think of my healthy fats. They are either either the marinade, the dressing, the sauce, or the toppings that bring the whole meal together and make it taste amazing because that's the whole point of fats. Fats are really, really tasty. So whatever fats it is that you wanna use, whether that's pesto, which I highly recommend, but you can also use just good old olive oil or sesame oil, something like that. Peanut butter, which is another one of my favorites. I love making a peanut sauce, or of course, it can be something like butter in the sauce or adding cheese on top whatever it is it doesn't really matter but you do usually want to have some kind of healthy fat in your meal to bring the flavors together especially with a protein because if you have a protein without fat it's not really gonna taste good all right so those are the first two components then the third component of your meal is going to be your starchy carbs so here I have a huge bucket of cooked whole wheat pasta so there's a lot of confusion with pasta. People think if they eat pasta that they're just going to explode into being super overweight overnight, but that is not how it works. Remember, when it comes to how much body fat you have, it's not about what you're eating so much as how much you're eating because you're either eating the right amount of calories for your body and goals or you're not. So whole wheat pasta is actually a really good starchy carbohydrate. First of all, it's really quick to prepare, which I love because it just cooks so fast and you can obviously make a ton all at once. So that's one of my favorite ways to meal prep is that when I'm in the zone, when I'm chopping and prepping everything, I just make a ton. So that way it's gonna be ready to go in the fridge. And then when it comes time to actually have a meal, I can just grab some that's already prepared and throw it together and boom, my actual meal is gonna be ready in just a couple of minutes. So your starchy carb can be whatever you want. It can be pasta, some rice, quinoa, potatoes, beans, whichever, it doesn't really matter. You just want some kind of starchy carb on the side because the carbs is going to help you stay full and energized. But personally, I usually do like to try to pick a carb that has a little bit of protein in it just so you can get even more protein into your diet. So whole wheat pasta is a great choice because cooked whole wheat pasta does actually have a good bit of protein in it. This is the amount of pasta I'm gonna be using for my dinner. It's 150 grams of cooked pasta, which I measure out using my digital kitchen scale. You need to get one of these if you don't have it. It's only about $10 off of Amazon. This is the Amazon Basics. I love it. I travel with it all over the world and I have used it for years. So this 150 grams of cooked pasta is the amount I'm gonna have for this meal and this is about 10 grams of protein just right here. So that's pretty cool. All right, so remember we have our lean protein, our healthy fat, starchy carbs. So the last component of a meal is either your fruit 
or vegetable. So I already chopped up some veggies here. I have a red bell pepper and a little bit of spinach. This actually isn't that much, but this is all I had left in the fridge. So when I was preparing all of this last night, all I did was chopped up the chicken breast into small pieces, added in the marinade, which is the sun-dried tomato pesto, cooked up a whole bunch of whole wheat pasta, so now I have tons ready to go, and then I just chopped up my veggies. I always just kind of look at whatever veggies I have in the fridge. I always just make an effort to buy a ton of produce whenever I'm out and keep my fridge pretty stocked, and then I just choose whatever it is that I have on hand, chop it up, and then it's all ready to go. All right, so you know if you have those four main components prepped and organized, then actually putting together a meal is gonna be really quick and easy. So now all I gotta do is cook up this marinated chicken, which I'm gonna do on my stove, but you could do it on the barbecue or you could do it in the oven, whichever way you like. And then throw in the pasta and veggies and boom, I'm gonna have enough high protein, good quality whole food dinner for the next several days. All right, so now you understand the four main components of a meal. So I'm gonna show you how I throw this meal together and how delicious it is at the end. Let's do it. All right, so I'm just gonna take my pan here. Unfortunately, I don't have a very big one. And we're gonna add this marinated chicken in there. All right, marinated chicken in the pan. And then we're gonna add in the veggies. And now I'm just gonna put it on the stove and it's gonna cook up and that's gonna be it. You can hear it sizzling away there and it's pretty much already cooked in just about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the cooked whole wheat pasta so all the flavors can mix together. And then that's gonna be it. Delicious high protein dinner for the next two days. Right, fit fam, there is the final product in all of its glory. So now I have a huge serving of high protein deliciousness for dinner for the next few days, and it hardly took me any time at all to actually throw this together. And the way I did it was just thinking of the four components of a meal, which remember is your lean protein, starchy carbs, fruits and or veggies, and healthy fat. So if you want free meal plans with follow along simple videos of recipes just like this, head over to my website nomadicfitness.com because there you can download my free meal plans for all dietary needs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss anything more coming from Nomadic Fitness. Thanks so much for joining me today, Fit Fam. I'm gonna go enjoy this delicious pasta dish and you should give it a try too. And if you do, let me know how you like it. I'll see you in the next video.